And thanks so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. For the rest of the month of March, we will focus on the life and ministry of Jesus. And this will lead us right up to Easter. Uh, we'll go over Good Friday, uh, Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I thought, what better way to prepare ourselves for Easter than talk about the life and ministry of Jesus? And we'll do that by going through the book of Mark and our daily devotionals. And I encourage you to read each chapter a day, uh, one chapter a day that's going to lead us uh, right into uh, Easter Sunday. And so I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, I will just highlight, uh, Pastor Sarah and I will highlight just a few of verses. Uh, just give uh, some a little bit of context, a little highlight. But uh, but again, we could uh, be here all day just on Mark chapter 1 uh, today. But again, I'm just going to highlight the first few verses of Mark chapter 1. Listen in. It says, This is the good news about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. It began just as the prophet Isaiah had written. Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, and he will prepare your way. He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him. This messenger was John the Baptist. He was in the wilderness and preached that people would be baptized to show that they had repented of their sins and turned to God to be forgiven. Now, this is the good news right here. Uh, as we and I'm excited to dive in to go through uh, chapter by chapter. My my prayer for you is that you dive into to just even chapter one as we go uh, as you learn about uh, his baptism and, and John the Baptist right here even says he's like I'm not even worthy to untie the Messiah's sandals uh, and then Jesus goes to him and then and then John the Baptist has the, has the privilege of baptizing Jesus and then he goes into the wilderness. But I want to focus on that first uh, first couple of verses there. As John the Baptist, he prepares the way of the Lord. And if you're a follower of Christ, you find yourself uh, and you're questioning, hey, what, what should I do with my life? Well, we have to do exactly what John the Baptist did. He prepared the way and explained and showed, hey, Jesus is the way, he's the truth, and he is the life. That's what God's called us to do. So as you dive in to Mark chapter one today, as you begin to prepare, even learning and growing and understanding what Jesus did, why he did what he did as, as we prepare ourselves for Easter, let us understand that when we are a follower of Christ, he has called us to prepare the way for others. See, if you have that good news, you understand the forgiveness of your sin only comes from Jesus Christ himself. We need to declare that and to proclaim that to others. So may may you be encouraged by that. May God give you a boldness and awareness to look at the opportunities that he has right in front of us. And he would give you the boldness to go and shout out the name of Jesus. Maybe not literally. You know, there's we, we need to speak the truth in love and we have to be able to understand our surroundings. But really, what God's called us to do. He's called us to be like John the Baptist and to go and to proclaim that good news. So may God bless you as you choose to do that. Even today, ask yourself, God, is there opportunities for me to be used by you? Be aware and be sensitive and don't be in a rush where you're going. Whatever you're doing today, don't be in a rush. Pause, reflect, and look for opportunities to be his shining light, to be his hands and feet to others. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.